And then the repairs that you're doing, um, the, just the concrete repairs, not, are you going to be, if there's any architectural detail, are you going to try to keep those or are you just going to do a... No. Like, it, the contractor will be required to match those architectural details. Okay. So if you have any scoring on the existing bridge, any chamfers, any offsets, that'll all have to be matched. Okay. That's good. What, and, and in order to do that, it's, like I said earlier, we're going to use formed concrete repairs mm -hmm. and not a spray-on type application where you lose some of that, some of that detail. Yeah, okay. Um, Anything else? Uh, yeah, I just had one more, which is about the natural <coughs> What has happened is that the bridge itself is not eligible for the National Register. That determination has been made. Okay. So unless there's new information that's uncovered, mm -hmm. that decision will, will hold. What, what is, if, you, if it's brief, I don't know, the criteria for it to, what is it lacking, is, is my question, to be on the National Historic Register? What do you look for or what's prevented from being on that um, list? Innovative engineering designs um, associated with a a leading design person, um, an important historic fact in the area related to the bridge, those types of issues. So by 1921, con reinforced concrete technology was already 10 to 12 years old. So you have a lot of other examples of leading edge technology. The Walnut Lane Bridge that we showed here was a 1909 construction, so that's 12 years before this one. So, you know, that's part of the reason why that's on the National Register is that it was at the leading edge of, the, of change in technology. That's cool. And thanks. I don't have any other questions. Thank you. Okay. And that wouldn't affect the design of the bridge anyway. It's still not exactly the same. Yes. The only thing is, is a piece of paper. And that's going to be on the bridge well, along the way. It's a piece of paper. Excuse me. Get so, um, so, thank you very much. I know you guys will keep inspecting, keep it up. Yep. I don't have to worry about that. You're in communications with, with Mr. Sullivan all the time. He'll keep us in the loop. We want to thank you all very much for coming in. Okay. Thank you. And like I said, I can leave these here. We love it. Please okay. Please make it over. We appreciate everything. Thank, thank you very you. much, guys. We can get to wrap up and get out. Okay. <laughs> crazy on it, so uh, I'll start down with Phil. Phil, do you have a, I know, I'll just ask Pat. Okay. Since I am the liaison to the Park and Rec and UCA club, is there a reason for that? What uh, page did everybody grew up? Uh, page 12. It's actually, it's more than what they expect. <laughs> it's less than last year's budget, but it's projected to be more we already got a letter confirming from Dark that that's the amount of Josh, anything quickly? Yeah, just follow up on what Chip said, just so we say it out loud in case the Detroit heard about this. Uh, we 
expect this to preserve downtown's uh, 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 top quadrant. That is correct. And this is a no tax increase budget for the fourth year. That's correct. And that would make us uh, the only borough in Chester County to not raise taxes in each of the last four years. Great. Alex, I know you spent a lot of time on it. Jeff, you, have, you asked some questions. Do you have any more? Uh, you can jump. Most of it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> There's not a lot of wiggle room. <laughs> Most no, of it is. Uh, some of my questions I think were already answered regarding it seems like all of our energy budgets have gone down from what we budgeted. I'm assuming that's due to energy saving things well, we, that we, we, so we did. Have a big savings. We renegotiated our electrical um, bids, so we brought in the consultant, and uh, we got a better bid on electricity for all of our street lights, traffic signals. Jack's been going to LED lights, which is a huge savings uh, in the long run. So LED traffic lights, and street lights are a big savings. And then with the, I want to say like eighty or ninety thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, so. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Not this time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have a chance to get in and ask your questions. We have a few now. Not yet. I have some questions now. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm a little confused. I see new new um, funding codes that I didn't see last year. And I'm a little, I don't understand um, why some have disappeared and. Okay, like for instance, in the 2016 general fund, we had account 415, Vision News Hearing, and 416 Zoning Hearing Board, but I don't see that under the total general fund expenditures in 2017. Um, they were moved. I restructured some of the coding for VCD to match their, their guidelines, so I think you were talking about 415 and 416 were combined all into 414. Yeah. That's page nine. If you remember through our audit, we always got audited and one of the things that came up was our, you know, account codes were not in compliance with the state because our software didn't allow that. Now it does and Carrie went in and spent quite a bit of time and confused everyone, I would say. <laughs> we're doing the right uh, It's all now to the state requirements. Okay. Just bring up the stuffing. Anything else? Yeah, so then I understand you changing the codes and stuff, but um, I did notice that I guess I need to understand in prior years that the money to Main Street was under 488 marketing. I guess that's correct, 25000 each year. And this time it's now under 487 business development. Even though we do have a 488 <coughs> account for marketing, why was that changed over to business development? Well, it was just a management decision to move it from that. It was more of a business development cost than it was a marketing cost. And the DCD we created the 487 was a business development account. So that was just part of the restructuring of that. So that was just created and that was for this? The state had a better code for yes. where that money comes from. Again, we're just trying to get compliant. Yeah, it really wasn't a marketing cost. So. Anything else? Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, well, I have my, my same question that I, I pretty much ask every year, and, I, and the mayor did answer it somewhat last year um, about funding Main Street. And when I asked, uh, the mayor answered my question saying to, to explain about the Main Street program and the borough's required to uh, provide funding to the Main Street program. So, first of all, is it matching again, matching contribution? Yes, they do match it. They do okay. match every year. They more than match. And then, um, then my other question is: um, so is this being done as as, as you had indicated last year? That this is a requirement of the state that we fund them. I, I, Who are you talking to? Yeah. I guess you. Like, since you're the one that had answered. Like, I, I can I say I'm not on the board. Are we, yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, our, and I had a question. I guess our solicitor from last year is not here. But as far as funding a nonprofit, um, I, I don't uh, I don't see where in the law we are. I think that's uh, right. Uh, um, yeah. Where we are uh, allowed to fund a nonprofit, a oh. general nonprofit. Oh, that's right. yeah, that's I'm why I'm wondering if they're part of the state program. Okay. Oh, 
Josh, can you answer that, please? Thank yeah, you. so uh, in the United States of America, it is frequent that governments, whether it's federal, state, and municipalities, fund nonprofits to do the work of the government. Uh, oftentimes, the government will give money to nonprofits to feed hungry people, or the county gives money to uh, nonprofits that build housing for folks. Uh, municipal governments fund uh, nonprofits uh, to put out fires when people's houses catch on, houses catch on fire. That's unique to the United States of America in that we rely on nonprofits <coughs> and volunteer work uh, to save taxpayer dollars to offer uh, to do some of these social causes. And that's something that I'm particularly proud of in this community because we tend to have more nonprofits doing that type of work than some other communities. We have two fire uh, departments that are staffed. Um, those are volunteers that are doing the work that we would have to pay for if they weren't volunteering to do it otherwise. Uh, our community is lucky enough to have a uh, nonprofit uh, Main Street Association, which raises money on its own behalf uh, to more than match what uh, the, the, business, the, the municipal contribution is uh, in terms of economic development in our community. If you look at boroughs that don't have a Main Street Association, they give over $100,000 to consultants and other things to write grants. Uh, we're lucky enough to have a group of volunteers committed to uh, raising money to, to, uh, to do, among other things, improve pocket parks in our downtown, uh, uh, help open up businesses in our community, rally the community around uh, economic development opportunities like the train station, uh, among others. Uh, so uh, that cost, that $30,000 cost, is, is, is uh, uh, a fantastic value to the downtown taxpayers. And this is the other nonprofits that we contribute to DARP, the library, and the fire department. Um, and that is indicative of just the United States of American culture, the state, the county, the federal government, uh, all levels of, uh, of government in this country uh, fund nonprofits to do the work of the government. Okay, well, um, Do you have a question on whether it's legal legal the other day in the same time? Um, well, I think uh, I'll bring up the, at one point on, I don't know if Councilor McClellan remembers, but there was a point where a nonprofit was, and uh, this was had to do with playground, um, was asking for funding, and um, as I read the minutes from the meeting, Councilor McClellan said that the borough can't fund nonprofits. So, so I'm kind of interested why uh, that uh, Councilor McClellan is okay with funding this nonprofit. Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember. Do you have a question on a thirty thousand expenditure, please? Yes, we'll back to yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Stick to the budget, please. I, I am. Thank you. That was a question. Go ahead, the budget. Um, so, as far as uh, funding any nonprofits, the, I believe that the borough is required prior to uh, distributing any money or giving any money or allocating any money to a nonprofit, the state law requires that the nonprofit. Um, provide a detailed uh, accounting of how the prior year's money was used, that we're, we're not allowed to give more money until we receive a detailed accounting of how the prior's money. Do you have prior that written down? If you could show it to us, we, we'd like to It's in the law. We'd, we'd like to read it. I think our solicitor can answer that then, and it's in, our, it's in the, the, the law. Uh, I'm not aware of any specific provision requiring a nonprofit to provide verification. Thanks. For it. Depending on what you're referring to, I could take a look at it and see if it would apply given the facts. I mean, a lot of times these are fact-specific scenarios. Obviously, you want to account for any fraud, any self-healing with nonprofits, public entities. So, um, you know, for that that kind of thing. So these kind of things tend to, I think, to be a lawyer and say depends, but a lot of times it depends. But as a per se rule, is it improper to give to a nonprofit? Anything else on that? Yeah, so my other uh, my other concern and it's a question is um, I understand that so we've been we've been contributing money to Main Street now for several years and what I don't see, what I haven't seen and I would love to see is um, how has this increased the revenue to the borough? How has this what has been oh, done? It's given us so much more back. How so over and above what we could accomplish through our own that's, look, guys, let's not debate on what they could have made, didn't make. If you have don't, a question on a $30,000 expense, this is my question. This is my question. I don't want to debate unless you guys want to debate. I'm asking for facts. How's that? I'm asking. I'm not debating. I'd like, I'd like I'm not to debating. know how great the Main Street has helped us. Well, I'm asking you yeah, for numbers, fiscally. How, how has it, our, our investment of $30,000 a year, how has that benefited the taxpayer? Well, so that we can justify contributing $30,000 again. I, I just, uh, we get a report every year from the Main Street Association on what they raise uh, and where those donations come from. 
Um, and we get that at the end of every year. And I don't know if you've gotten the last five, uh, but I've been looking into two of them and, uh, when I was on the board. No, and this year. I, I wrote one. Please, please, please. I'm asking him. I, I literally wrote the first year. one, Councilor Feldman. Um, so, and I handed it to everyone on council, uh, and you were here. Uh, but I'm sure uh, uh, we can reach out to the Meat Association to make sure you get that. But they do present that every year, uh, exactly how much they raised. Uh, in the last four budgets, uh, we've asked them to uh, uh, match donations that, uh, that we're giving them. And in each of those years, they raised more money than we've asked them. Guys, this is a round and round. We're going round and round and round. No, and, and exactly this what, isn't a round and round. I'm asking specific you questions. You want it out of the budget. If you want to try to listen, get out of the budget, Mr. Then President, then listen. Listen, I have a right to ask questions. It's my job, it's my responsibility. You do not have the right to decide what questions are valid or not. Okay? These are questions stick, that stick I to the 30, and, I and, and am. Please. That's I need and in order to verify and to validate ahead, and to confirm the 30,000, I need, I want to know the history of right. what's Thank going you. on. Any, anything else? So, yes. Um, I will say that it does say here in the law, which is uh, 1202, Borough code. The borough shall require any it's any of the nonprofits, but this is specifically an emergency services organization, to provide for the borough an annual itemized listing of all expenditures of these funds before the borough may consider budgeting additional funding for the organization. Have we received that from that's for any nonprofit? And you're saying that we have not received it. I haven't received it. Um, so um, I'm going to say to the Borough Council that according to the Borough Code, we are, if, if Main Street, we're not allowed to contribute money to a nonprofit, only specific types of nonprofits. My question is, what type of nonprofit is Main Street that they are eligible to receive from us? Yeah, I'll answer that again. Uh, I, I really think this, you're, you bring up this issue of year. I really think it's a state issue. Because uh, the, the Main Street Association is a, is a state program through the Department of Community and Economic Development. I remember saying this again last year. Uh, Westchester has <coughs> one. Uh, I think there are four in Chester County, and there must be 100 throughout Pennsylvania. Um, and all of those municipalities donate money uh, to the Main Street Association as a way to offset what would typically be, cons be consulting costs. We're boroughs, so we, we're lucky enough to qualify. I would suggest you reaching out to the, the Secretary of the Department of Community Economic Development and letting them know about your displeasure about municipalities contributing to these, these uh, uh, nonprofits. I will say that as the mayor of this community for the last seven years, one thing I'm particularly proud of is the way uh, the, volunteer, the volunteerism here and the fact that we have folks stepping up uh, to do this type of work on the behalf of the government at very little cost. Uh, when I got the mayor seven years ago and you were elected the same year, uh, this budget, uh, this line item in the budget was over $100,000 in consulting work to do uh, nonprofit grants. And I happen to be friends and, and know a lot of other mayors and similar boroughs, and they contribute lots more to these types of consulting costs. We're doing it through a nonprofit that we set up as a way to offset uh, downtown taxpayer dollars. And we have this amazing group of volunteers, and not just the Main Street Association, the fire department, the library board, and the others that are going out and writing grants. They're not getting paid to do this, they're volunteers. And they're doing a terrific, terrific job. And that's the reason why, for the last four years, downtown taxes haven't been going up. Because we've had volunteers doing a lot of the work that our municipal government would have to do otherwise. So I just want to say, on behalf of all 8,500 residents in downtown, how quickly <coughs> proud I am of the nonprofits here. And I know, talking to uh, residents in this community who are paycheck to paycheck, trying to pay their mortgage every month, how much they appreciate the fact that these volunteers are going out, doing that work, and preventing our taxes from going up. So, God, okay, excuse so, me. No, 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 I'm excuse sorry. Me, no, I am not. Excuse me, I'll address you in a minute. I'll let people. Excuse me. You'll get your turn. He's answering my question. Excuse me. I, I want to comment on. Guys, what what they do, a lot of this stuff, you can't put a price tag on. The, the hours, the programs, the, the stuff they do. It, it's more than just making $5 or $10. It, it's making hundreds of thousands of dollars in goodwill for the community. The events they run, the, the parades they help. Uh, uh, it, it, it's just unbelievable. You can't even put a price tag. Go ahead, you have another question? Yeah, okay, so it, 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 just back to the answer, the answer to my question then, Mr. Mayor, you're answering saying that they're part of the state program. So that's how they're, that's why they qualify for funding from the borough. That, that, that's what you just, right? I mean, that's all I'm looking for is why they're, they qualify for funding from the borough. So you went into a long discussion, but I, I didn't, 
Yeah, I would suggest I would suggest if you have questions about uh, the, 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 uh, the the validity of mainstream associations, you go to the Department of Community Economic Development uh, website, and look at why they suggest boroughs and downtown well, investing in mainstream associations. That wasn't and, my question. It, that wasn't my question. Not the validity of mainstream programs. I'm asking, well, how is council comfortable providing a contribution to this nonprofit, and how does this nonprofit qualify? I do not understand how the nonprofit is is eligible for the con for this. In regards to the budget, what are you trying to accomplish? I'm trying to find out if they don't qualify, then they shouldn't be. We shouldn't be giving so them. So are you money. making a secondary motion to remove from the budget? No, I'm asking a question. If everybody seems okay with it, I just want to know why. I think everyone's okay with it. Well, but we can talk about that. Any other questions? <laughs> why are you okay with it? That's. Yeah, this is the budget. We don't have to tell you why we're okay with spending don't the money. We can approve or not approve, okay? Do you have any more questions on the budget? No, I think that what you're doing is illegal. Right. Thank you very much. You know, I just told you, what you're doing is illegal. If Thank you want to prove it, go ahead. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Um, all in favor? I'm sorry, Steve. Just one quick thing. I know the motion was to approve the 2017 preliminary, but we actually need a motion to advertise. <laughs> Motion with a tenth of a dot, Phil? <laughs> so moved. Second? Second. Okay. Take Questions? Take okay. Sorry. All in favor? Opposed? Don't want to go to jail. Thank you. Opposed. Please, please, please. <coughs> Alrighty, guys. First of all, I, I got time. I would thank the staff. Yes. Karen, Absolutely. Steve, Tom, Jackie, Howard. Everybody's been number crunching, number crunching, number crunching. Uh, everything keeps going up, guys. The insurances, uh, we, we just had the police contract. Uh, everything, the wages, and, and to be able to hold this, and, and for this staff to, to watch this money like this is unbelievable. I just want to thank you very much. Great, great job. Great job. Thank you, Mary, your first one. Congratulations. You can only do it down from here, right? <laughs> no, no, you can't get the right All right, good, guys. Um, and Steve, that goes, and, and what have we got on that again? That'll be, uh, uh, that'll be December 7th. At this point, we'll advertise it for a public inspection, and we'll make the budget uh, available for residents to come in and take a look at, and Perfect. we'll adopt uh, on December 7th. Very good. Thank you. All righty. Uh, new business uh, motion to award uh, the bid. If Steve, you tell me, tell Steve who you got here. Uh, you yeah, put a... Uh, That doesn't affect the, the, the budget collection. That 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 
is all it takes, right, Steve? We can raise that. We did it last year. We, yeah, we, there is an ordinance in place, and these are a fee for services, so we can raise those at any time just to match our expenditures. Um, at this point, we haven't done it for years, and I, I hope we don't have to do it this year. So I think we'll be okay with things happening. Uh, so hopefully with the new recycling containers, our tipping fees are going to go down. I think we budgeted 385 total. We have a motion to approve uh, A.J. Lazinski at 892-800. For Thursday collection. Thursday collection. So, can I ask one more minute? So, people still talk. Okay, motion to second. You got that, Steve? I missed the first. I'm sorry. And just for the newsletter, you're saying it's Thursday or Friday? Or yeah, we actually uh, will put together something tomorrow.
half of your future park and rec um, events. Secondly, our Comcast television station will go live in three weeks, so we need to think here about whether we are going to um, <coughs> film or put on our borough council meetings for the rest of the I think you all need to think about that and Thank let you. us know. Let us being the district because the district is um, working with the borough to provide this station. Thank you. Josh, I think so.